All right, that was really hard. Um, I would say, now that I think about it, I'd probably just pay a place to do it rather than do this myself. Um, as you can see, I've got the headlight opened. Uh, I went across first with my uh, hot knife, which didn't cut deep enough to the uh, perma seal. Then I took out my Dremel with the cutting blade and ran that across the edge, which did do the job. So um, it probably took twice as long as it needed to. I started this at like 10 o'clock in the morning. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. Comes apart three pieces once you take all of those screws out. Um, here's the old projector that was in there. Reasonably easy to take out. Here's the new one that's going in, the uh, LED projectors I showed you. I've hit my first snag on it. Basically, this heat sink on the back that isn't on the back of that is hitting the uh, housing right down here. So I'm going to have to trim that off and hopefully that will give me the room I need to uh, get the uh, projector mounted in there. Otherwise everything fits fine, it's just that lower heat sink is hitting that. So that's where we're at. But I want to say yeah, I, you know I said it took me from like 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. or whatever but I did you know a lot of breaks because it just was really slow going with the uh, hot knife. But um, once it busts apart into pieces, it's fine. Um, I prefer trying to use the hot knife because it's less noise, less mess. You know, when you're using the uh, cutting blade on the Dremel, there's little plastic, uh, black plastic uh, bits go everywhere. So, anyways, that's the uh, high beam trigger, which, as I said, isn't going to probably match up to the one that's on the uh, universal one, the uh, LED projector. Um, I got that. Here's the uh, halo. The halo, I'm going to mount to the inside of this ring here. And as you can see, this ring has three screws. This halo has uh, three little, uh, let's see if you can see here. Three little of these things for wire, so I'm just going to put a wire through that and wrap it around the screw that goes to these. Um, they actually line up pretty well, so that should be fairly simple. Yeah, um, I tried to do this as easy as I could. I would say a HID projector would probably fit in there better, although I know someone installed the Morimoto D2S 4.0s, and uh, they said that they also had some trouble with it fitting in there as well. So I'm going to try and get all this put together now. But now you see what it looks like, all three pieces. Um, you can see here, it's a pretty thick uh, border here of a permacil. I'd say a solid half an inch thick you know um, and it goes all the way around fortunately as I said though I used my uh, my uh, you know hot knife and then the adrenal bit so it's not like there is um, a whole lot of warped plastic it's just pretty much a smooth edge that I will uh, probably leave pretty rough so I can have something you know a surface for the uh, butyl glue to attach to it's going to run all the way around there. I got two rolls of this stuff just as overkill because who knows. Anyways, it's better to have more than not enough in the middle of this project. Obviously, you want your car running as soon as possible. This is going to take me two days between today and tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow I'll do the other headlight. The car will be down for, you know, basically overnight. And then by tomorrow evening, it'll be up and running. Um, I thought about painting this here, the chrome bit. But after all the work it took to get this thing open, I just want to get it put together and put back in the, uh, put the headlight back together. I just... I still got to finish doing a couple of touch-ups on the bumper that I'm doing also before I uh, finish, you know, with all this other stuff. So, anyways, we'll check back in once I uh, trim this and hopefully get the LED projector installed.